Systems that have a solar dish must move in both horizontal and vertical axes. In this video, we will examine the DC motors used in the fixed focus system to rotate the solar dish. These DC motors are extremely low consumption and have a long life. I hope this program is useful for you. With respect, Ibrahim Hashemi. Hello to you and your loved ones and those interested in the fixed focus program. Welcome to the fixed focus. I am Ibrahim Hashemi and this is another video of this program. In this program, we want to examine the DC motors that are responsible for the movement of the solar dish in the fixed focus system in both the vertical and horizontal axes. These electric motors play an important role in the system and should be chosen in such a way that they have a long life and good performance. These electric motors should continue to work without any breakdowns and should not be a problem for the system. If we consider a fixed focus system we have a vertical movement and also a horizontal movement and each of these two axes must move with a suitable electric motor. Fortunately, because the rate of change of the sun's motion is low, we can use low power DC motors. The best type of these DC motors are constantly work. For example, this is a 12 volt DC motor whose output speed is 7 revolutions per minute. And this is another example that is smaller and its rotation speed is 40 RPM. These are low consumption and work constantly. And we have to use these electro motor. Now if I connect this to battery it starts spinning with low output speed. To make it clear, I attach a long piece of foam to the output shaft. You can see that its speed is very low, about 7 revolutions per minute. Therefore, the above electric motor is very suitable for use in the system. Its lifespan is very long and it is enough to use it in the right way. This is also a smaller electric motor that has a higher rotation speed, but its power consumption is less than the previous one. The rotation speed is 40 revolutions per minute and its consumption is 3 watts. The lower the speed, the stronger the output will be. Electric motors with gearboxes are of great variety. An example is the gearbox DC motor of the car wiper that you see. But we should not use these motors in the system. First of all, its power consumption is high and they need more energy, for example, this is a DC 100 watt motor. Second, it requires a bigger battery and a bigger panel to run it. Third, if it is turned on for a long time, it will become very hot and eventually burn. You can see that when I connect it to the battery, it sparks and the engine shakes due to its high power. and it has a high rotation speed. Therefore, this type of electric motor with gearbox is not suitable for our work, neither in horizontal movement nor in vertical movement. In this DC motor, this part has a helical gearbox. 
The feature of this helical gearbox is that it rotates on one side and cannot be rotated on the other side, which is the outer shaft. In the gearbox of these low-consumption electric motors, all the gears are metal and have a longer lifespan. But the gearbox gear of electric wiper motors is compressed plastic. And these plastic foams have been used. This is an open example of a worm gearbox where the motor shaft drives two small gears and their motion is transmitted to the larger gear. You can see that the gears are compressed plastic and have a shorter life than metal gears. Here you can see the same electric wiper motor without gearbox. If I connect it to the battery, you can see that its speed is very high without a gearbox. Therefore, the speed is reduced with the help of the gearbox and we have a more powerful output, like a car that is in gear 1. However, it goes without saying that I have used these electric motors with high power gearbox before and it did not have a good result. These electric motors have a high speed that a gearbox should be placed in their output to reduce the speed and this is an additional cost. There are other very small electric motors. For example, this is an old washing machine timer and it moves very slowly. And it breaks down very quickly and all the parts inside are plastic. So we have to use this type of DC motors. For example, this motor works very well for horizontal rotation. And the speed of 7 revolutions per minute is suitable for the horizontal movement of the system. In the figure, you can see the types of electric motors with low consumption gearbox. The important thing to be careful about when using these engines is that no pressure should be applied to their output shaft. It means that the weight of the system should not be placed on the output shaft. And this shaft should only have pressure in the direction of rotation and perform rotational movement. Suppose the horizontal axis of the system of a curved pipe is like this. And this is the shock absorber bushing of the car, which can move on this tube. And the reason for its movement is this DC motor, and there should not be any pressure on the motor shaft. And no weight should be transferred to the DC motor. In the picture you see, no weight is applied to the DC motor and all weight is transferred to the rubber roller. And this makes the lifetime of the DC motor very long and you can use it for several years. And it should be observed in both horizontal and vertical movement. For vertical movement, we need more force, for example, we want to move a 50 kg weight vertically. Therefore, we need a suitable helical gearbox so that the output force is multiplied and can easily lift the solar dish. Well, worm gearboxes have a gear wheel and a screw rod, which is called a worm gear. The rotation of the worm shaft with the DC motor will cause the large gear to move at a low speed and with more force. And by using a helical gearbox, vertical movement can be done safely. This gearbox can keep the solar dish stable in any position required. You can move more weights in vertical motion by choosing the right gearbox. 
and it is an advantage that the change of the position of the sun in the sky is slow and we can use a low power electric motor to move the solar dish. You can see a worm shaft in the figure. This is the shape of a helical gearbox. Of course, depending on the size and weight of the solar dish, different gearboxes can be used. Well, let's examine the DC motors that actually work in the fixed focus system and see how they are installed. Now the weather is partly cloudy and the system is off. In fact, photocells sensitive to sunlight turn off the system due to cloud shadow. In order to be able to check the rotation of the horizontal and vertical movement, I will take out the circuit of the system. I already short-circuited the cloud-sensitive photocell wires. The red LED indicates that the system is active, and this is due to the short circuit of the light-sensitive photocells placed on the solar tracker. This circuit is the same as the solar tracker circuit, with the difference that four push buttons are installed on it, which will be able to short circuit the photocells of the upper and lower, left and right groups. With this, we can change the rotation of two horizontal and vertical axes from automatic to manual. For example, by pressing this key, horizontal movement is done to the right. And by pressing this key, the horizontal movement is done to the left. And these two push buttons are related to vertical movement, that is, up and down. You can also place these micro switches in the input part of the tracker wires and on the printed circuit board. Well, I'll put the circuit in the box temporarily. Let's go to check the electric motors in vertical and horizontal movement. First, we will check the DC motor in horizontal motion. I remove this protector from the top of the motor. You can see that this motor is the same DC motor with the difference that its output has a lower rotation speed. You can see that there is no pressure on the motor and all the weight is on the rubber roller. Now I press the corresponding push button on the circuit. And you see the moving part starts to move to the left. You can see how slow the speed of movement is. Now I press the other button so that it moves to the right. The entire moving system rotates to the right. There are two bearings here and these bearings are responsible for transferring the weight to the rubber roller. Of course, it can be done better. And this is a protector to prevent rain and sunlight. Well, let's go to DC motor in vertical movement. Here we need more power for vertical movement, that's why we used a stronger motor and a separate gearbox. To protect the motor and gearbox, I have used a painted plastic soda bottle, and it lasts well, and that's why it doesn't get destroyed in nature. And I take it off. This motor is even smaller than the example I talked about, but it easily answers the work of the system. It is a 4 watt motor and it works easily with the system battery and even if it works day and night, it never gets hot. The gearbox connected to it increases the output force from the gearbox. 
and the worm shaft is connected to the DC motor in this way, although the gearbox gear is bigger. And this is two bearings that are welded to the base. Now, if I press the corresponding push button, you will see that the movement of the solar dish will be downwards. And a push button to raise the solar dish. The internal structure of this gearbox includes a bronze gear and a worm shaft. This part does not need much protection against rain and these two bearings should be lubricated every year. Oxidation of the towing wire does not harm it and this towing wire is very old. To protect the motor, you can use a better protection such as PVC pipe. This protector should protect the engine and transmission from sunlight and rain. You have seen the horizontal and vertical drive motor of the system. Of course, there is a third motor in this fixed focus system, and that motor is related to the oil pump, which is also of the low consumption type. And finally, the consumption of the system is very low, which is provided by a 5 watt solar panel. I hope this program was what you wanted. Until the next program goodbye.